What's up everybody, it's Small Chibi over here, and today I'm going to be waiting for review and take a locker. Now, before I start off the video, let me just say this, I love Final Fantasy 7. Now, I also love other Final Fantasy games, don't get me wrong, like Final Fantasy The City and C and Final Fantasy 9 and, you know, overall cool. Just want to say that because <laughs> a lot of times it's like, you know, a lot of people when I see, uh, when they like a Final Fantasy they tend to not talk a lot about uh, the other other ones, you know, from the people I met. Like, of course, online, a lot of people has lists, but like personally, you know, uh, that's the experience I had. So, with that being then, let's get into the video. Also, let me just say, I enjoy these characters, you know, like, my personal favorite three to use is Cloud T for Yuffie. You know, I find those three being just overall just great. And don't get me wrong, I love the other characters too. And of other Final Fantasy games. But those three, they're just always so cool. <laughs> so, first thing I want to talk about is personality. Tifa, she is a nice other young lady that is cool and at certain moments she is shy and while other characters like Eric or Yuffie are open to showing their emotions, Tifa is more mature and shows her emotions in certain moments, but sometimes she finds it hard to say how she really feels and expresses herself. Now, Tifa shows her emotions normally but hides certain feelings like her true feelings towards Cloud, like this is one of those, you know, issues that she kind of deals with. While Tifa has these moments, she is still a strong and uh, she can handle herself and she's capable of fighting like crazy giant uh, monsters and stuff, godlike beings, etc. So yeah, pretty cool. She's a com confident fighter. The issue comes when she gets into her emotions uh, within her heart. Tifa, she is a cute tomboy waifu and my favorite Final Fantasy girl next to Yuffie, Aerith, and uh, let's see, Lightning is cool for the city and T and yeah, and Garnet, yeah, from Final Fantasy IX. Like all of them are like just so cool. <laughs> so yeah, and um, yeah, overall, you know, Tifa. I would like to talk about her design. Now I'll get in more into detail later on, but let me just say overall, the design is cool. You know, makes her. I'd say uh, Tifa. Well, her design, you know, makes her. Uh, more of a um, some might say fan service, okay, but overall it's pretty cool and interesting. You know, she looks really cool. So yeah. Now I would say the backstory of Tifa is you know she's one of those characters which I personally found interested. You know, next to like Yuffie, uh, Red Thirteen, etc. So Yuffie and Cloud are childhood friends and have a close relationship growing up in Nibelheim. One night Cloud and Tifa hang out and Cloud tells Tifa that he has joined Soldier and he is going to be leaving. Tifa then tells Cloud to promise her that if she ever is in danger he will be there to save her. Cloud promises Tifa and they go their separate ways. In current time, where the game takes place, they are adults and Tifa is living in the slums in Midgar. They're she works as a uh, in a popular place, a uh, popular bar in the area called the Seventh Heaven, uh, as a bartender. Now, <clears throat> this bar has a arcade machine, which, when activated secretly, leads to the underground base for a rebel group Tifa is a part of, called Avalanche. Now, as they talk and they uh, ask Cloud to assist them in their next mission, which is blowing up a Shinra Mako reactor, which Shinra is using to drain the life out of the planet and gaining more power over the people in the process. Later on, uh, after Sephiroth learns the truth about himself, he loses control and plans to destroy the planet with a giant meteorite. Now they go on to defeat Shinra, Sephiroth, and the insane planet that has rose weaponized monsters coming out of it and <laughs> from it to clear up the humans that have destroyed it. And yeah, pretty much that's Final Fantasy 7. You know, pretty interesting and cool game. You know, I I enjoy it. <laughs> I remember, what the, I remember, you know, playing the game all these years and I enjoy those scenes, you know, like, yeah, it's outdated cutscenes. I I understand that in graphics, but me personally, when playing old, 
like retro, uh, you know, classics like Final Fantasy VII. I I don't care. Like you know, <laughs> let me just say this. This is a side thing besides the video, but there's a miss thing. There's a opinion which I hate, which is, oh, this looks old, and this is what I hear in gaming and anime. A lot of people say. This looks old, the graphics d does not stand compared to nowadays, therefore I am not interested. Which in my opinion is just really stupid. I I'm gonna call it how it is. The Final Fantasy, you know, forced disc is way better than the Thai remake forced part. And yeah, <laughs> just, just wanted to say that real quick. Now the next thing I would like to talk about is... Tifa's theme song. Now, as you hear within this video, hopefully it's not copyrighted, but uh, it's Tifa's theme, <laughs> and I love it. You know, I love Tifa's, Tifa's theme song from Final Fantasy VII. Uh, Final Fantasy VII has amazing music, and Tifa's song is, yeah, I'd say it's my favorite, next to uh, maybe like one or two more, you know, or, or three. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, now, I'll save those for their own um, videos, you know? I don't want to spoil anything, but let me just say, it's just great. You know, I enjoy also, now Tifa's theme in Final Fantasy VII Remake is also cool, and I love it, but me personally, I love the original Final Fantasy VII Tifa theme. It just, it's just so great. I, I loved listening to it even in my free time growing up, doing work, and just overall, it gets to my heart. You know, it's one of those songs that I would say it gets to my heart. You know, I, I truly love it. It's amazing. Now, next thing I want to say is I love Tifa's design. Like I said, I was going to get to it eventually. Here it is. Now, besides the cuteness and her design is more than a sexual appearance. Tifa's design is cool, you know, she has cool red gloves indicating that, you know, like, she's a, she's a fighter, you know, she's ready to do some martial arts, she's a skilled martial artist, she's really cool, one of the things which I really love about her, you know, it makes her interesting and makes her really cool. Now, next besides that, she, um, oh, now, she has, like, her base gloves, and, but later on, she gets the premium hard gloves, and it's, it, like, it increases her, <clears throat> Uh, like powers and uh, what was it, uh, strained and just all stats, you know, and it's, it looks cool as well. And it's like these, oh, I, I, I remember what was it, uh, level it up, you know, before and after the, you know, premium hearts getting, the, getting them. And ah, uh, yo, just I remember a lot of moments like that, you know, just getting. Uh, you know, side weapons, the material, just created by own character, just so cool. <laughs> uh, also, Tifa, she is a brunette with long brown hair, tied with a red hair band, she has red and brown eyes, and she has uh, red boots. She has sleeves and earrings, a skirt and suspenders. Tifa's design is great. She is cool and I love her, you know, she also has more than one pair of uh, clothes. Whether, whether it's Final Fantasy 7 or Advent Children, I love her design. Uh, her design is cool and beautiful, and overall, I love it. You know, she's uh, pretty cool. Now, Tifa is, you know, I would say, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, she's my favorite female in Final Fantasy, I would say. Yeah, Final Fantasy. Uh, and, but it, it's not like, it, like, don't get me wrong, like, Yuffie. It's close, and yeah, okay, I had to talk about the youth, okay, you know, but, uh, it's close, but Tifa was always my favorite favorite of the Final Fantasy girls, with Yuffie being number two. Now, <clears throat> I always, you know, enjoy, you know, like I said, interesting characters, interesting story, their theme songs, overall, just greatness, you know, so if I would say my favorite... Also, she fights with her hands. She's a martial artist. Like, fighting game. I love fighting games. And, like, I'll put in the side. I did a life review of Sakura Kazugano, if you're interested. Oh, I, I just I just love it. M you know, martial arts. 
and um, fighting games and martial arts skills and characters and Tifa's that you know she is that so yeah now the next thing I would like to talk about is the Cloud Tifa and Aerith love triangle now while both ladies have shown such a wonderful time with Cloud I would say that Tifa's more effective affected on Cloud you know I I would personally say you know Aerith's time is useful uh, but overall compared to Tifa's time mm, it's uh I don't really see it like you don't get me wrong they make great friends but as a love interest Mm, I, I see more of, but we all know that even Yuffie had, in my opinion, a strong connection with Cloud. You know, the the she's the one that actually kissed Cloud when they were in that, um, what was it, that carnival ride going up? And, um, what was it, that play zone, I forget, what was it, the light zone and all that stuff is there. And, yeah. Yuffie's the only one that kissed Cloud and made him speechless, so, yeah. Koofy is the real thing, but seriously, um, I enjoyed, uh, you know, relationship between Tifa and Cloud. It's really cool. So, after talking about all of these, the things that I love about Tifa, I want to say, besides Princess Zelda and Sakura Kazagano and, um, yeah, <laughs> and other characters, I would say, of anime, but this is just specifically video games uh, I'm talking um, Tifa is there as a character that was always so cool and relatable you know I don't talk a lot about uh, myself on this channel but besides you know my anime and game and uh, you know life and history I you know I, I enjoyed doing martial arts growing up you know I, I was uh, active I, I this is how I see you know me I loved playing fighting games like I said, Street Fighter, Tekken, King of Fighters, this is what I said in the Death Battle prediction and the review. I believe in the review, but the prediction definitely. Uh, maybe I'll look in here if I remember. <laughs> so many things I'll have to decide. But um, yeah, you know, it's pretty cool. And then, you know, seeing how the characters and those fighting games and then seeing, you know, Tifa was, a, like I said, a martial artist. She got the premium heart, you know, and just so cool you know overall and ah oh, just so many great memories you know <laughs> and overall i would say this you know i personally think tifa lockhart is a really great character you know i continue playing final fantasy games uh, Final Fantasy 7 as well. I love leveling them up. Even with the save files, I love playing like all save files that I already beat the game on, and just to level them up even more, and just see how fast it takes me. Like you know, just to have fun. You know, it's just all how great. And that's what I do with other games as well, not just Final Fantasy 7. Just wanted to put that out there. Like I said, I love other games as well, other Final Fantasy games as well. Okay, but this is specifically Tifa's video. She's from Final Fantasy 7. So, yeah. So, with that being that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me in the comments what you think about Tifa from Final Fantasy 7. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.